Today, we're going to talk about how to create a lollipop graph, like the one on the screen at the moment. Actually, you may call it something else. I'm not even sure if that's the right name for it. That's what I've heard before. That's what I call it. Uh, essentially, it's a lovely way to visually represent a relationship between a categorical and a numeric variable. Okay, so let's get into this. Booyashaka. On this YouTube channel, we're creating our programming videos on everything. Now, before we look at the code, what I want to do is look at the graph so you understand where it is that we're going, and then it'll be very clear to you, look, the coding is super duper easy and we'll get there very easily. But understanding what it is that we're trying to do is the key here, right? So what have we got on this graph here? This is taken from the msleep data set, which by the way, you've got built into your computer right now. So you can replicate this analysis at home, and that's the best way to practice. Okay, we've got the msleep data set has got uh, all of the mammals and their respective sleeping par parameters. And one of the categorical variables is the order, the order of mammal. And that's kind of, are they carnivores? Are they uh, primates? Are they rodents? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, and these are all the sort of actual names. They're quite difficult to pronounce, so you'll forgive me if I don't try and read them. But what we've done is for each of these orders, each order of, of mammal, We've calculated the average sleep time or the mean sleep time, and we've represented that as a, an orange dot. And then, we, and we've ordered them. We basically ranked them by, by that mean, right? So the smallest, the, the least average sleep time is on the left, and the most average sleep time is, is on the right. And in the middle here, this gray line is the average sleep time for all mammals. So we can see for any given mammal order, we can see what its average sleep time is, but we can also see the extent to which it is above or below the average sleep time for all mammals and, and the extent of that and how they relate to each other. So it's a lovely way to visualize this, uh, this, this kind of data. Right, so let's have a look at the coding. Super duper easy to do this. Uh, let's dive right in. As always, we're working in the Tidyverse. Install Tidyverse if you haven't gotten it. Um, and within the Tidyverse, we've got the ggplot package. So we're gonna be using ggplot in this particular video. Full cats is another package you need. And, and I'm gonna show you how to use full cats now as well. I'm gonna build that into this, this tutorial. Full cats allows you to work with, well, it's, it, it's got lovely functions that lets you work a very, very neatly with categorical variables, right? And in this case, we that categorical variable called order, so the order of mammals, we wanted to we wanted to basically rank or we wanted to order them by another the value of another variable in this case average sleep um, and so four cats allows you to do that and i'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this tutorial right so uh, install four cats if you haven't got it library four cats just call that this next line over here this is just setting the theme up front right usually when you do a ggplot graph you can set, set the theme at the end of it if you set the theme up front now with with theme set that will apply to all of your plots. And it's, it's, so it's a nice little trick. I'm not gonna go into the detail of what's in there. That's for another tutorial. Data, open and close brackets, just shows you all of the data sets that are built into R. And I just want to remind people of that, that you've got that data. And one of those data sets is M sleep, mammal sleep. So if we view that, here we've got M sleep, all of the mammals over there. Then we've got these categorical variables, genus, vor, order, et cetera, et cetera. We're gonna be looking at order and we're gonna be looking at total sleep. We're gonna group by order, and for each of these groups, we're gonna work out the total number of sleep, that uh, the total average sleep within that group for this particular plot. Okay, GM segment is the new function that you're gonna learn about today. Uh, if you push question mark, GM segment, control enter, you can see GM seg, all, all of the uh, documentation around that, uh, and, and, and the various arguments that you need to use it will come up on the screen on the right. Usually people have this, this particular panel at the bottom. I just put it up there for the sake of this video. Let's jump right into the code here. Not difficult at all. You're going to love this. As all, is always the case with the tidyverse, we start off We start off with our data object, in this case, msleep. The pipe operator simply says, and then, and it pipes that data object into the next line of code. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to say group by, and we want to group by order. The group by function works very nicely with the summarize function. And the easiest way to understand how these things work together is just to look at it. And I'm going to show you, uh, so we've said group by order, then summarize, create a new column called mean sleep. And inside that column, for each of the categories of order, we're going to have the mean total sleep. Okay, and I'm going to take away this pipe operator and just run the code until there so you can see what it does. And here is what it produces. It's grouped by order. So each each order just represents one 
observational one row here and then for each of them we've got the average sleep within that order in this column over here right so this is a new data object we're going to pipe we, when when we when we start with our gg plot we're not going to be piping in M sleep anymore. We're piping in a new data object, which we've now created. Um, and that data object has got two sort of variable headings, order and M sleep. Right, so going forwards, these are the two things to think about. The next line of code up here, we've got mutate. And this is where I am wanting to get everything ordered by M sleep. In other words, rank ordered. I want the smallest average sleep on the left end of my graph and the, and the largest average sleep on the right. So how we do that is we say order. This is uh, this order is the categorical variable we're working with, and it's going to be now equal to factor reorder, and within that the arguments are reorder the order variable by mean sleep, which is the new the new variable that we've created when we did our summarize. Okay, we're piping that into ggplot. In ggplot now we don't have to define the data set because uh, we're piping it in. The plot is going to, along the x-axis, have the orders and the y-axis, the mean sleep. So you've already seen that in the plot. Fair enough. Uh, then I'm going to use geom point. That's the geometry. Size equals three. Color equals orange, just so that it's easy to see. Now, and I'm assuming you're kind of familiar with ggplot already, so none of that really needs to be explained to you. This is what's probably new to you, and that is this new function called geom segment. Right, so this is where we draw a line. And let me, let me get the graph up here. This is a, basically in GM segment, we draw a line. It's drawing a segment. You can, there's also a GM curve. There's other, there's other functions. GM segment, you're going to draw a line. For any line that you're going to draw, there's four points that you need to tell R. There's an X and a Y starting point. So you're going to start, this line starts somewhere, and that somewhere has an X and a Y coordinate. Okay. And there's an X and a Y end point. Right. So there's X and a Y starting position and an X and a Y end position. And these are the things that you need to, these are the arguments you need to include in your geom segment uh, function. And it'll draw the line for you. Right, so let's look at how we get there. Back to the code. Right, so geom segment, and it's an aesthetic, right? So we're gonna draw a line, uh, and that line is gonna be mapped out against data values that we've got. That's why we use the aesthetic, we're mapping now. The X and Y for the starting point is, Firstly, the order, right? So X is going to start off at the order, whatever, you know, mammal, for example, primate that it is. Now look at this line here, right? We've got Y is equal to, and we've said mean, the average of M sleep, total sleep. This is where we're calculating the average for all mammals, right? And that's going to be, that's going to be Y. So let's just quickly look at the graph and see what that means. The starting point of our line is here, right? So that maps out against our order. So our first, our first mammal order starting point. And the Y coordinate, what maps out against the Y is this gray line over here. And we're going to show you in just a minute how to draw that gray line. We haven't drawn that yet. But we want the starting point of this to be at that point, which is the average sleep for all mammals, right? So it's mean open brackets M sleep, which is recalling the entire data set. And then the variable that we want to use is sleep total. Right. The end point for X, so X end, that's going to tell us, you know, where the end point of the line is. Again, it's going to stay with order. Nothing's changed there, right? So we're going to stay uh, on that uh, vertical line. But the Y end is going to be the mean mean sleep, which and mean sleep in this case is whatever value we've got uh, in in this new dot object that we've created down here um, as part of the summary. Okay. Then I've just said color gray, and I'm just letting you. Um, I put that in so that you could see. You can do all of the usual things that you can you could do with any ggplot uh, graphic. You know, you can change the color, the width, the uh, the alpha value, all of those parameters. You can stick right in there. Okay. The next thing we want to do is we want to draw that horizontal line, this line over here, so that all of these lines that we've created in our lollipop stick to something, and that's simply our GMH line which stands for GM horizontal line. And whenever you draw a horizontal line, your first argument is where is the Y intercept? And in, in this case, of course, the Y intercept is the average, so the mean from the data set mean sleep and the variable or total sleep, right? So it's gonna draw a line there. I've said again, colored gray, and I've said size one. I've just given it a slightly thicker size. Then here I've just said theme, uh, this, 
this axis dot text dot x equals element text angle 90 degrees. What am I doing there? These labels over here for the x-axis ordinarily are horizontal. I needed them to change to 90 degrees so that we could see them. Okay, that's what that is. And then these are just the labels that are stuck on there. The theme has already been described. So uh, then if we run that, we get, uh, that didn't work. And I'll tell you why that didn't work. I'm just going back up. That didn't work because I removed this pipe operator earlier on. I'm gonna stick it back in there and then run the code. And now of course it does work and there's our graph. Voila, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. There's a link on the screen at the moment if you want to download for free, no strings attached, a data visualization cheat sheet that I've put together. Click on the link, download that. Otherwise, stay and watch another video. Don't do drugs, always do your best. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you soon. Bye.